And uh, how is your process like when you, I know you, you're, you're writing mm -hmm. uh, a bunch um, with your husband actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so you started writing a bunch of songs with him and um, mm -hmm. this was during COVID. Uh, do yeah. you still feel like you still have that sort of uh, momentum going on? Or is it like, well, I already like, you know, open the Pandora box and it's more like it's all out. And I, now I'm learning to control it and be like, okay, today I have an, and one of my introvert moments, but I want to be able to create and mm -hmm. maybe write something. Mm -hmm. um, so um, with the writing, it's not my, I would say my first um, rodeo. <laughs> Well, that too, but, um, actually I feel like it's always my first rodeo with writing because it's not my first medium. That's oh. what I was trying to say. Okay. So, um, I'm just like a, a physical person or colors on a painting when it comes to writing words, I actually do enjoy it, but it's not my first thing that I reach for is the pen. Okay. I'm trying to get better at that. But um, for me, like, I'll go for a stint of writing for several months and then not write at all. Okay. Yeah. And so, so, so I have the collection. you, like, do you do a rhythm, like a... How do I uh, yeah, uh, approach how, a song? Yeah. Uh, usually how it happens is um, it'll come from the music first. Mm -hmm. And that will definitely put me in a mood or a thought and I'll play a movie in my head of something like a story. Okay. Yeah. And then a rhythm and a melody will come out from the voice. And then sometimes a word will come out and most of it is not mm, actual words. It's like humming or gibberish oh, uh -huh. but a word will come out oh it sounds good there this word sounds really good at that point in the song it just made you know so um it's a process of uncovering as well mm -hmm. it's it's a, a puzzle um peeling an onion yeah the <laughs> onion or chipping away at the <laughs> At the egg, you at know, the try. egg, or the or the, I'm trying to think like the, um, the sculpture, mm -hmm. um, the marble. Yeah, that's a better analogy. I I did <laughs> terrible analogies. eggs work too. <laughs> Onions, eggs. I know you're a food person, so it yeah. works. <laughs> um, so it is. It's kind of mysterious the way it all kind of comes together, really. But it does happen with the music, um, and then I'll go to sing like a, a melody, um, and some words come out some don't make sense and then I write around that idea it's a sketch okay yeah and I try and place in words that fit and try to make it follow a story you know okay. beginning middle and an end um and then the bridge sometimes sometimes there's no bridge <laughs> do you have a moment of like inspiration like during yeah. I don't oh, yeah. know, like sudden, you know, like yes. you're just like walking and driving. Uh, you saw someone and then you're like, whoa, like mm -hmm. that's, that would be a great story. Just uh, I don't know, someone handing a paper and you're like, oh, it looks like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. For me, like I'll get an inspiration. It's very random. Um, if I'm driving, definitely okay. uh, a line of text. Oh, that really like, it's interesting. I had a line of text on my way here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Um, or a melody. And then I'll go into my phone and record it. So you also. OK. So and do you have like this? Do you later move it to your I don't know, to Sometimes. your laptop and then have like, OK, this is. Yeah. Uh, you Sometimes know, this is blue and this is, you know, right. Orange or whatever. And I'm going to, oh. you know, translate this now into this idea of something. This blue is now going to be something sad or this orange is going to be something like happy and dancey and right um i actually haven't worked like that i would like to <laughs> <laughs> it's too like organized and meticulous yeah it takes no, too but much I think time that would be great if um i guess i'm working on my production skills myself mm -hmm. um 
I've always just been more of an organic type of okay singer. But um, I think having tools um, at your fingertips is a fantastic way of getting your creativity out and um, progressing quicker. Um, I'm working on that, but um, you know, mostly it's just like notes on my phone or write down in a notepad. And then um, if I'm with people that I usually write with, uh, sometimes I'll take out the notepad and see if any of those lines will fit. If it does, it does. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, you can't force it. And um, yeah, yeah, it's different every time. It's like <laughs> every song is different, really. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's good. Um, you There's don't have, no you know, yeah. One, you don't have just yeah. a big, you know, gray. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what the word is. But yeah, like big, just like a big bunch of gray songs. You know, they're all different. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. And I don't. I don't write songs like from top to bottom, you know, like I'll just keep some, you know, like there's uh, spots that are open and then I'll just put in a line that to complement into it. Yeah. yeah. The rhythmically it'll fit, but it's my, it's a filler line until I find a, oops, I keep touching this mic. <laughs> I should be used to it by now. A, fill, a filler line that goes and I know that I'm going to replace it when a better one comes along that feels right yeah yeah okay yeah 